And I, and I think on that day, probably, at the end of it, the old gene will be looking up from down there, up there and looking down and saying, Alec, I've seen it before. Because we played so well that day and missed so many chances. It, it got to say, you say, oh, for goodness sake, sure we, you're not going to lose this one. Because that can happen, you know, you play a game of football and you get so many chances, sometimes they're not going to go in and you end up losing them or you end up drawing them or something. But personally, we managed to squeeze home with Ryan Giggs' headed goal in the first half. But I have to say, I really did enjoy the performance. We played some beautiful football, exciting stuff, and um, very, very unfortunate when we scored one goal. This is the game that Alex Ferguson said he could well do without coming so soon after Sir Matt Busby's death. But I'm sure in a stadium brimming with reflection that United players will be particularly keen to produce a fitting display as their own tribute to his glorious memory. Well, we shall see in this next 90 minutes or so. Everton, of course, with matters of their own to sort out. Not going through the best run of form at the moment. That won't put off Manchester United at all. Here's Cantona. The Old Trafford fans already in good voice, as you would expect. And maybe it's almost too much for us to expect United to put on a really entertaining display. I know they're capable of it. Here's Irwin, leaving it instead. Roy Keane. Up towards Cantona. Well, it was nearly the perfect start to the afternoon. Roy Keane's ball in. Eric Cantona's header and cushioned wide. And Alex Ferguson, I'm sure, has instilled the importance of a good display today. Agree. And again. to show dummies before actually turning the opposite way does Peter Beagree as he does there hang on cue away by Irwin here's Giggs listen to the excitement around Old Trafford when he gets the ball is it any wonder why brilliant from Giggs all the way just falling to the ground at the last minute but that is a real sign that he's in the mood from inside his own half, Ryan Giggs stretched the legs. The balance was perfect. First it was Jackson, then it was inside Snowden. But he just couldn't quite get a firm enough shot away to beat Southall. He's obviously keen to make an impact today. And that's only good news for the fans who have packed in to Old Trafford. Tickets at a premium. Here's Bruce. And he was hesitating, waiting for the bounce to come his way. Cotty's in here. And Schmeichel blocks him. And he's furious with Bruce. Well, Bruce just hesitated. Wasn't sure whether to attack the ball on the full or whether or not to wait for the bounce. And uh, once he was caught in two minds, Cotty was away. And there's no better man at narrowing the angle than the big day. And it's just a corner rather than anything more serious for Everton. His angel! Oh, and Schmeichel again to the rescue. A pat on the back for Angel. And it looked like the first goal was going the way of the visitors. That's a good header and a lovely reaction save. Two saves in a minute for Peter Schmeichel. 
and Everton clearly are not caught up in the emotion of the day it's down to business and Schmeichel in a hurry to get Kinchelskis away is that out of play? it certainly is now and that'll be a throw to Everton I think for the first ball Stewart Ebrell that's the uh, Everton fans in voice now heartened by those two early sorties forward here's Hughes though doing well Cantona looking up all the time weighing up the options Giggs lovely ball from Cantona Giggs immediately thanking him for the service his header just looping over the top but there you are, the thumbs up to the Frenchman. It'll scoop up, that's what it was, rather than a driven ball. And Giggs couldn't quite angle the header. But certainly a promising opening from United. And indeed the visitors. Snowden. Away by Bruce. Irwin. Giggs bit of head tennis someone looking to get it under control on the ground but it's a free kick John Ebrill rather getting tangled up with Mark Hughes and a free kick right on halfway United fans sending up the volume hopefully to herald the opening goal for their side Parker Kinchelskis hugging the right touchline. Cantona's made a move away. Kinchelskis has got away from his marker. There is Cantona. Southall blocking his path. It was certainly a good header from Cantona. But Southall was in the right place at the right time. And it was perhaps an easier save than had his positioning been a little more central. Just managed to get in the way. The move not over yet, though. Kinchelskis has Parker to his right gone alone and again Southall's exemplary positioning making it look easy but it wasn't all that easy the previous save Cantona's header from point blank but I think the anticipation of the Welsh goalkeeper partly responsible for parrying that away it's given away to Ince Ince on the charge, red shirt streaming away to both left and right, here's Giggs. He's got round Jackson, but Jackson stuck doggedly to the task and it's another corner to United. United very much now on the ascendancy. And the noise it's as a result of that early pressure. Cantona! Off the line by Ebrill. Southall was beaten there, no question. And twice Cantona's been denied. Here's Konchelskis. Had he taken it too far? Well, he certainly maybe had done, but Southall, much easier to gather that one than the previous effort, which had him beaten. Giggs is driven corner. Cantona rising superbly. Southall did his best, but Ebra was on the line. Bruce. Hughes trying to guide it on, rather got it wrong. Cantona. No fouls as a referee. Play on. Kanchelskis ball in. Giggs at the far. Jackson taking no chances. Another corner to United. Jackson not sure why it was he that was left to do the marking at the far post there. Making his opinions felt. And another Ryan Kicks corner. Not the best. Everton had everyone back for that, and therefore United can gather up and keep the pressure off. Kinchelskis from Keane's ball in, and that's into the side netting. Low driven ball. Give him the benefit of the doubt and say that, that was a cross. Southall in too much of a hurry to take the goal kick and United will have it again Paul Parker Ince coming to make it easy for the defender 
now asking someone to do the same for him Pallister Parker Kinchelskis out to the right side goes instead towards Keane Cantona use himself by going away from Keane Keane in, Giggs and there's the goal that has seemed coming for a while 27 minutes and at last it's celebration time Giggs and Ince with that famous routine it was a very simple goal really Cantona and Keane on the edge of the area and Ablett not sure who to go with Keane there was Giggs and Southall can't get that one out it's a good header from Giggs not only the power but the direction to take it away from the outstretched arm 1-0 and it's certainly come at a time when United had threatened to pierce Southall's goal and fittingly it's the youngest man on the field Ryan Giggs who's got that goal very much a product of a youth system which Matt Busby himself would have been proud and here come a few more young players Paul Ince to Roy Keane looking for more Irwin lovely one two with Hughes just by the upright terrific speed of the break Irwin must have traveled 60 70 yards to get on the end of that move one end to the other typical Manchester United Hughes just uses a wall really and Irwin with an effort just by the post and Championes is the sound greeting Manchester United who lead one to nil and could so easily be much more comfortable than that look at that from Giggs he's away from Jackson but good covering in the end from Neil Moore but Giggs with some impish skill to get away from Jackson Irwin's header on Giggs had sized it up before the ball even arrived and that's just magnificent isn't it but equally good defending so another Giggs corner You've seen the danger they can create already Hughes trying to bash it first time Irwin keeps it alive with Giggs Irwin again another shot from Irwin and again just going by the post he's getting closer though Dennis Irwin never afraid to support the forwards but unfortunately for him two shots in about three minutes have just swung away at the last Well, Everton a little bit rocked by this pressure by Manchester United haven't really been in the game since that first five or six minutes but here's Beagley to try and change things well good tackle from Bruce and Roy Keane back to help out and Palliser to finish off the clearing that's called teamwork I think just run out of pitch in the end and Everton throw good appreciative applause from the Manchester United supporters here's Cantona Giggs making the run forward, taking a defender with him is nothing else and uh, eventually it's Mark Hughes who shows. Irwin's gone to his left, Giggs just inside, goes to Ince instead. Looking for Hughes! Lovely ball from Ince. And I don't think we would have been surprised if Hughes managed to conjure up something from that. The supreme volley up just not quite able to get the touch he wanted still 1-0 not for the want of trying it has to be said that goal after 27 minutes from Ryan Giggs a header which uh, I think in itself will please the Welshman not renowned for his heading of course away by Bruce Hughes, Cantona, brilliant, lovely skill, this is a break from one end to the other, Cantona from Kanchelskis, planes for handball, waved away by Roger Gifford who was to be fair very near to the incident, and Everton can come away, Stewart, 
looking for Angel, but uh, Bruce was not falling for any push or shove from Angel that might have thrown him off balance. And can Chelsea can bring it away? Ince. Well, that's the end of an absorbing 45 minutes. And the only surprise, really, is there's only one goal to show for all the efforts. And the biggest surprise, I suppose, is that it came from the head of Ryan Giggs after 27 minutes. Not renowned for his heading, maybe, but it's a healthy enough scoreline. United 1, Everton 0. The crowd were brilliant that day. They got behind us. You know, with a minute silence, the Everton fans were brilliant as well. You know, there was just, um, I think every player wanted, thought to himself, you know, we've got to do well, we've got to win today. And it was a great team performance, you know, it was, it was great skill, it was great flair, and um, I managed to get the goal, so it was a great day for me personally as well. I don't think we could have, we could have, we could have played much better, really. As you say, Eric was brilliant. Um, you know, um, just the whole team played really well. It's Old Trafford's biggest crowd of the season, some 44,750. One can only imagine how many thousands more would have loved to have been here on this emotional occasion. And it's a half-time score of 1-0. But the promise of much more to come. And that's offside against Roy Keane. United immediately back into the attacking patterns they were in in the first half and the old Trafford crowd back into the voice they were in in the first half Bruce away Keane and again the offside flag up Everton have brought on a substitute Stuart Barlow to try and change things in an attacking sense for Everton. So maybe it's going to be a much more open second half with both sides looking to advance into the opposition territory. Here's Bigri trying to do just that. Ince in the way. Ebrill. Jackson. Varshika. Ebrill had held his position on the edge of the area but hadn't pulled any United players out with him. Cantona spreading the play majestically from left to right. Here's Konchalskis. Bigri's come back to try and make a nuisance of himself. Got a challenge in. But Ince can come away. Good shot. Too hot to handle, in fact. Southall falling away to his left side. It certainly had enough venom in it, but not enough accuracy on this occasion. Good shot, not his stronger foot the left, but uh, not afraid to shoot with it. Irwin. Asking a little too much of Ryan Giggs. I suppose if uh, Ryan Giggs can't catch a ball, then it must be played too far in front of him. Here's Cantona, Keane, strong enough to ride the challenge. It wasn't a bad shot at the end of it either. Hands on hips maybe, but uh, he may not have been scoring with the regularity he was at Nottingham Forest, but he's certainly always in the right positions to perhaps make an impact. Not too far away on that occasion. Just a shake of the head though to show for the attempt. Bigri heading it on. Angel. United again falling an Everton move very early on. And come away with the ball themselves. Giggs. Cantona. Still. Oh, that was tremendous from Garrett Cantona. A turn and shot all in one movement. Appeared to have done everything right. But the right hand post said no way. Look at that, a trap, a turn, a shot, looked all to be correct. But the post just not playing ball on this occasion. It's still United Press and still Cantona looking for the ball. 
wants it from Konchelskis, Konchelskis alone off the bar, Ablett got the deflection, Hughes the foul, and it's still 1-0, the woodwork hit twice in a minute. Konchelskis going alone, Ablett a wicked deflection took it away from Southall, and once again his goal came to his rescue, the bar this time. And Everton just can't dwell on the ball. United with a bit between the teeth, no question about it. Here's Konchelskis again. Ablett again trying to stop him. Hughes, Konchelskis, Cantona. Little back heel almost reaches Giggs. And Everton anywhere will do at the moment. Tremendous pressure on the Everton goal. And it's no wonder that the Manchester United fans are on the edge of the seats, expecting more. The guided ball in towards Konchelskis, Keen, away by Ebrill, and oh dear, that's uh, not the best volley Gary Palace has ever struck. Perhaps a sign of how confident the United players are that they're prepared to have a go from anywhere at the moment. Still defending to do at the other end. Bruce to Schmeichel. And Chelskis, Hughes. Showing great determination. What else would you expect, though, from him? Here's Konchelskis. Chance to get round the back. Right across the face. Giggs! Never quite settled himself. And, of course, it was on the right, not the left side. Never quite got over the top of it, did Ryan Giggs. And the shot, therefore, was always going to rise. Konchelski's ball in, away from the Everton defenders. But not the finish to match the build-up. Pallister. Irwin just losing out to Barlow. United are strong enough to clear up anything and even Schmeichel's getting in on the act now very delicate little slide rule pass to Bruce Cantona a little short but Ince is far too strong in the challenge and United build again with Giggs he's gone away from Jackson again the cross isn't bad either good header from Ablett just in front of Hughes and another corner well Everton to their credit haven't wilted under this torrent of pressure and it's Ablett on this occasion to their rescue Hughes loitering with great intent there incredibly it's still 1-0 Cantona's corner to try and change it too deep for Pallister Keane just again by the post well he's getting the opportunities on the edge of that box, hoping to gather up any crumbs from the corner. And he did well to steady himself, and Southall's desperate lunge just showed how close he thought it was going to his goal. Bruce, lovely ball. Giggs, Cantona, won't come down. And again, a last-ditch challenge, this time from Neil Moore, is the only thing stopping... Manchester United from doubling the scoreline the first time ball in that's what really opened up the Everton defence but Moore was back defending well and if it hasn't been Southall it's been defending well it's been his goal frame the post and the bars come to his rescue twice not to mention the determined efforts of the defenders in front of him. And they're going to be called into action again as Roy Keane brings it away. Forced to go backwards on this occasion. Ince. Keane. Good little dummy by Hughes. Ince trying to force his way through defenders. Parker. Great challenge on Bigri. Here's Konchelskis. To the byline. Great ball in. Oh, it was close. Hughes was nearly there. Ince was there. But so too was Moore. And again, an Everton body getting in the way. Here's Ince. Charged down again. Again it was Moore. And Ablett just thumping it forward. Anywhere will do for Everton at the moment. 
and who can blame them to be honest a wave of red just not giving them a seconds breather Ince Pallister the defenders supporting the attackers oh brilliant from Giggs better from Cantona Pallister well if the finish would have matched the approach we would have had a goal of the season no question about it it's very rare that a back heel is seen in the game to this effect but when you see two back to back you know it's a sign of a team who are very much in form Pallister's shooting not quite up to the standard of the back heels Bigri Bruce in the way Kinchelskis has got round Ablett Cantona Hughes Cantona surely oh Southall palming it over the top and Cantona shakes the head as well he might and wonders whether he's ever going to get on the score sheet at all today Hughes losing control under the attentions of Jackson and that's a brilliant save from Southall just enough strength to help it over the bar but United are really entertaining the crowd in a way that really we had no right to expect the emotions running as high as they have been today and still United press for more first time from Keane well he certainly met it with enough power but not the accuracy that he would have liked and Southall has still only one goal conceded against his name Ebrill maybe Everton can string a few passes together and get themselves in an attacking role something they've very rarely done throughout the game so far here's Bigri and again the move breaking down comfortable Bruce it was this time here's Giggs players running to his left and right and he's using them to a good effect all the way well that would have been a goal to treasure for Ryan Giggs from his own half a similar run in the first half you might remember this one perhaps even better suddenly just put the foot on the gas pedal right through the heart of the defense but Southall's positioning denied him Tremendous run, though. And the more the game goes on, the more you feel that it is destined to end. 1-0, maybe not. Cantona this time, surely. No. It's the post again. And theatrical little clasp of the arms by Cantona. As if to say, it's not my day. Hughes his ball in. Cantona looked up. Southall beaten and again the post to his rescue and he wants it again but, uh, Snowden will make sure he doesn't get it on this occasion whistles all round and that's it the end of a glorious performance from Manchester United it may only be 1-0 when they come to look back on the scoreline in a few years time but the United fans who packed Old Trafford to the rafters today will remember a game rich in entertainment that's been a fitting tribute to Sir Matt Busby.